Determining which function is the best one to use is the next stage, but in order to determine which one's the best one to use, you really need to have other functions to compare against. So in order to do that, there's a couple of things we're going to do first. The first thing we're going to do is work out the average difference, which will hopefully is zero. So it's going to go mean difference over here. And we'll need a standard deviation. So I'll just put those in here. And that, so that one equals average of all the differences. OK, that's that one. And this one similarly will be the standard deviation of all those difference equals. Or standard deviation of those differences. And this assumes, of course, that they're normally distributed to get those numbers. Now, these numbers provide a basis on which to make a comparison along with the graphs. So, for instance, to say you had a relationship. So what we'll do now is we'll take this model, which is our first one we've used, and we'll make a copy of all those numbers and statistics. So I've put them over here, paste special values. Got all those numbers sitting there. Now I can change the numbers here and say, okay, I know that I've been told from somewhere else that, that uh, the grade gradient should be 20. And then we can adjust the intercept to see what it goes. So we run the solver again. And we're going to go to that. Yeah, and by changing just that bottom value, solve. In this case, we're getting the model looks like that. And we can swap between the two now. If I just take this model over here, copy a special values, so you can see the same thing there. I can directly compare those numbers. You see the means are the same, but the standard deviation of this one is better than that one. So if we just do the compare the graph again, we just copy and paste straight over the top, and you can see how the graph slope changes along with the axis. So we're going to do a format axis and fix that at 10,000. So it doesn't do anything silly. Hopefully that'll stay there. Yep, 10,000. Now I can change this back again to the other one. Control V. And you see just changing the slope. So if you're wondering which model is the best one, it's the one with the lowest standard deviation and or the mean. So in this case, it's the, the one we've got 0.0. The mean 0.72 is the standard deviation, so that's the best model here out of these two. Relatively straightforward to do. So that's how we'll do it.